Here's how I made $100,000 in one day. Now, before we get started, I want you to smash that follow or subscribe button right now. Let's begin. Basically, everything has shifted uh, since COVID came into play. We see the world has changed in the last few years. Every aspect of life has changed from that moment. And so what we have to do as kingdom entrepreneurs is be able to see how the culture has shifted, how things have changed and begin to apply wisdom in what God is saying for the now. And so if we look at this season and what is God bringing forth in this season, we have to be people who are literally hearing from heaven and being able to take what God is saying for the now. Now the problem is with many believers, and this is unfortunate, many believers are reactional. They're not pro-action, okay? They're not, uh, they're more reactional, all right? And spiritual Spiritual people are not reactional, okay? Spiritual people have already seen and know what's going on and they've made plans and actions according to that. So when we begin to talk about what is God doing in this hour, if you are a kingdom entrepreneur, if God has called you, number one, to create a course, a membership, write a book, or have a coaching program, if that is you, you need to hear what I'm about to tell you. Because again, if you haven't heard my story, Many of you may not know this, some of you may, okay? I have a GED, I have a general education diploma, I never graduated high school, although I went to college for three years. I played baseball and that was my only focus for many years. And so when you look at the perspective of it does not matter if you have what they say a natural education is in order to make a lot of money. And so I have been able over many years to be able to take the wisdom that God has given me, apply it to current climate conditions, we would say, right, in the world, and produce a harvest, okay? Many years ago, again, I was on the island of Palm Beach, right down the street from the president, you know, making a lot of money, the number one private studio, gym studio, on the island, training celebrities, athletes, anybody you could think of. And so I was able to do something that had never been done before in a group of people that were the most elite in the world. That's number one supernatural miracle, right? Number two, when God told me to give it up, he brought me into a, a new season, a new time period, a new era. And I had to pioneer and learn new things, new systems that were able to produce a result, that were able to produce financial breakthrough and prosperity in that season, okay? And so for the religious people, who look down on God's people prospering, you have a demon that is affecting your mindset. You really don't truly know the gospel. You don't truly know the kingdom because the Bible says that God delights in the prosperity of his servants, all right? And so everybody loves to bring up the verse that it's harder for a rich man to enter into heaven than it is for you know the camel to go through the eye of a needle, right? But what they don't understand is the context of that verse. And so that's a whole nother story, right? But right after that it says but with God all things are possible and so the reason that rich man walked off in disgust and and his head, you know, hanging low is because he was very wealthy, but that was the closest thing to his heart. So Jesus was literally asking him to give up the closest thing to his heart to test him. Not that riches are not, that riches are bad, not that wealth is bad, not that prosperity is bad, because it's not, because it takes wealth to push the kingdom forward, all right? How was I able to make $100,000 in one day, one day, guys, and do this with no education, no overhead, no investments, literally not that many followers compared to most people. And the way I was able to do that is through digital products, okay? What is a digital product? Number one, it's a course, a membership, coaching program. It's a it's an ebook. It's a resource that is digital that you create one time and it pays you over and over and over again, all right? I was able to, again, pray fast, hear from God, take that information of what he wanted me to get out to the world, and as I begin to create offers, I begin to create these products for people in business, right? Consulting, coaching, baseball, all of these different dimensions of expression, right? 
vehicle. I was able to do that systematically because of the understanding I had from the Holy Spirit. Okay, so the Holy Spirit gave me insight and as I began to put it into action, okay, because the number one thing that causes people to fail and probably cause you to fail many times is you don't take action. Action takers are money makers, okay? Get the right systems, the right frameworks and understand what it is to do and you'll be able to move forward and produce income. Just understand that God wants to do it for you, all right? And so make sure again, you subscribe, you follow for more because it's time for you to rise up. God bless.